five lights and away we go. Bradley gets a good start. Flimo actually gets a better one, so it's gonna go side by side into turn one. We have a couple of incidents, I think, back there. We have uh, USA TC Masters and Rickety going side by side into turn two. Let's see who's gonna take the position. It's gonna be TC Masters who actually try to go from the outside as seven position from P3. So very unfortunate for him. Let's see if he can actually bring it back as he goes wide into turn two. In the inside line here, but he's gonna have to back off to get back on the power. And I think the Germans covered him off for now, but he's going to get a little Diros down here. He's also got Mr. Sir Snowman behind. For company. As Gunsteller actually got a double, uh, double overtake. Going. Actually, it looks like Snowman wants to take this one as well as his bug bumping and grinding into turn three, as you always expect. As Snowman has, the Germans lost two places. and about to lose another one right now as well. Did he get damage? Yeah. He's in trouble. He's got the rest of the team here to represent, and everybody you'd imagine is boxing right now. He's got to take advantage of that safety car, and they all are. That answers your question out there, Yami. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, we start. he will uh, cut uh, Flevo napping. It's going to be a five second penalty from the from TC Mustard. Probably. The penalty is going to hurt right now in a short race. Come back and bite you. Don Sanders going to have to size him up and do this all over again. It's further back there. There's a bit of an overtake going on at the back. Yeah. A bit of a tangle, of course, occurring between some of these drivers. Fantastic it's racing. in that corner. Again, that's cost him, and now fail no game. We'll see that any minute of the day, and that's job done. Yeah. And there was contact made between uh, Gonzalo and Sir Snowman actually. No front wing damage uh, on Gonzalo's car, so he's very lucky. I'm getting a nice camera yeah. angle from Cody, so I'm not changing away from that, but you can see a blinking light there on the back of Vlad's car. That's indicating that he is running out of that energy to harvest. Yeah, and actually Austria is a very tough target, actually, uh, Harvest barely keeping up. As we can see that uh, he's actually going over the one second gap here, and if he actually doesn't, like, uh, slow down, uh, every driver is actually getting a point this race. But the, yeah, the interesting thing about that, too, is obviously you can see there's a double stacker. There's actually a tire behind. So Vlad Red can push them into a mistake right now. That is it. That could be race over for them. As you can see, those penalties are coming in thicker fast right now. Yeah. Once oh, again. and Flevo loses the rear end, and Flutterer gets a nice overtake and an easy one. So now he just needs to actually chase yeah. that. Keep an eye on Fat Maud. You said he had some pace. Look at that. He's got some pace right. Oh, he yeah, lift a little bit there on Farm. Oh, and, oh, gets and he gets a penalty. penalty. So but he's got to he get on the first. He still has the advantage. Yeah. yeah. He still has the advantage of the. I think Prince Anna dropping a couple of places now, right now, and that's actually for a tangle. You can see up ahead there. It says no man, Fat Maud. Look that, Fat Mord getting some gunning positions, isn't he, after that pit stop? Yeah. He needs to make those tires work. He has the first cop out. Um, it's so like uh, the Dutchmen were actually having a very promising start. They dropped out of the podium. We were talking about doing one, two, three. Uh... Representing his nation, of course, doing everything he needed to do. His teammate was hanging with him for quite some time, but just towards yeah. the end there.